hey guys um, in this video we'll be learning about how to search the data into text box and update it from that text box only okay so here search the data and update it like uh, from one form to other form like updating it okay searching the data into text box and then updating it so let's get to started so before starting please subscribe my channel and like the videos so you can uh, go to my how to search the video okay there you will find it like all the designs how detailed you have done but I am redoing it again here because you know what understand so okay I mean I'm sorry for that you will not understand for that I have to say it so search data and update it okay so next is the body and uh, center alignment then heading search data into text box text box and update it using PHP ok so it's done then we will design the form 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 and then method is equals to post do not forget your post ok so first we are retrieving data right so we will give some input input uh, is equals to we will be searching the data by its id and replace holder holder is equals to enter id first search ok done and then give one button ok this will be submit and then we will give us search 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 value like search data ok it's done now let's go and check it off so run your local host uh, run your c now it's in, let, let's design it ok we'll give a break line over here Mm, then let's design it if you want design in detail you want the explanation you can go to my previous video for how to search the data I have designed very clearly and explain in detail so oops first to do background color ok and then design the input now it will give the right edge width 40 percentage height is to 5 percentage and they will give the border is to 1 px same CSS ok Border radius <coughs> radius is to five pixels. Then padding is to eight pixels, fifteen pixels, eight pixels, fifteen pixels. Okay, so you can do it by each line and check out through that according to your output you can adjust it 
10 pixels and add up pixel. That's 10 pixel. And so then I'll go to box shadow. If you want this all in detail, you can go to my previous video on how to search data and I have explained it over there or update the data. Okay, you can go and find it out over there. I explain in very clear manner. Same thing, okay. So, same thing. You have to give your connections. Dollar connection is equal to my um, SQL I underscore connect. Then you have to open your local host root and your password, okay. So local host root and I don't keep password okay I don't have any password so just ignore it so database connection db db in my sql I select the database that copy this connection and paste it your database name okay single quotes youtube database okay my database name youtube database so go to it and uh, type the if else statement if statement okay if is set if you want this detailed explanation you can go to my previous video okay so this post is used for this button so take this search and paste it over here so the button works from that okay so now the query is that for searching dollar id is equal to dollar underscore post of inside single quotes you have to give id so this id takes from this okay and this is a variable where it is storing that will be given into query so this let's start the query is equals to select star from your table name I have given my table name as employee where id is equals to single quotes dollar id okay this is my table name inside the database you can go to your database and check out this is my database and this is my data table name okay so let's go back to the code and yeah then and then run this query query underscore run is equals to my sqi um, query query function then give the connection of this dollar connection oops dollar connection then give comma and take this query okay copy that query and paste it over here understand very clearly okay please so use the while loop for returning dollar row is equals to my sqi fetch array okay it's a very simple thing so just now you have to 
take this value copy it and paste it over here so it may run okay now you have to open the curly braces now i have to design the form so that it comes in this okay so so i have already designed the form so i'll paste it over here see now this is the form okay don't get confused this is your while loop where we are started and end the php okay clear and this is the start of php or and so in this you have to input type where id i have given hidden and the value of the table if you want this in a clear manner you can go to search box okay search the search data into text box okay so in my last video previous video you can go and search and this is very clearly detailed explained it and just you have to add one button that is update okay add the button and the value will be according this so first let's try this query okay so these queries are there so let's try it first save it go go to your search data refresh the page search for rule number one okay see the data are arrived but we have to update it right you have to update it so if the data is updated it should join the database okay so let's go to the code bin part where we have to give the update okay so at last we'll do it open php close the php so let's start take this connection okay exactly copy this paste it over this okay then start the if statement for the button that it should respond to it underscore post off mm, yeah now you have to insert that button which you want to update so this is our while loop and inside that we have given a button that is update so copy that button and paste it into your here okay so now give the commands okay so f name is equals to dollar score post of f name so you need not mention the id because we are hiding the id and we are not editing the id if you want to update the id you can update it just add id of dollar post of id okay so this is last name last name so it goes like this so just copy it which will be easy so we are having here uh one two three four five six fields so let's go and edit to it that is email password and address and phone number okay this is extra so I'll just ignore this and let's change this to email password address and phone okay so these things f name l name emails are in this while loop condition where we have given the name as email l name email password address okay so this is clear right so we are just taking this names and adding to it to update thing okay now we'll get the query okay dollar query we are starting the query so now give update what you are going to update your table okay inside your database so this is your database and you are going to update your table clear so in this you have to update the table set what is that we are taking f name l name email password so according to that f name is equal to colon dollar underscore post of f name okay 
and give come so just like this you have to do it copy paste it and rename it l name l name next that is our email e m a i l email email okay and next is password okay password password and the next after password it is address okay so add or ess address and then the final one is mm, final one is what is that final mm, phone number yeah so you should go and check it in your database if you want all these things are in database right so go to your base and employee table c f name l name email password address all it is in the database okay so now here that where okay where mm, uh, id is equals to okay dollar underscore post of id okay post of id and in the call now give enter now run this query query underscore run is equals to my sql i underscore query then give the connections okay copy the connections comma then query you are giving the connections for each other okay this connection and this connection now you have to do that check if okay if dollar query run okay enter mm. echo uh, ali script s e r i t script okay alert l e a r t alert Oops. Alert, ALE. alert double strings mm, data updated okay so this should be mentioned as single quotes okay copy paste it in single quotes and then go to else copy it paste it data not updated ok mm, what is the error yeah this colon we have missed it yes now the error is gone now save the program run and let's check out the data is updated or what so let's search for the data search see this is the data right so now let's change this please to funda of web it update the data data updated okay so now let's check the rule number one see the funda of web it so you can just change like that to so one two five six okay update it so data is updated so this is how we search the data and update the data in one form okay search and update it so thank you for watching this video and please like subscribe and share it to your friends thank you